Let's look at how to add additional views and some dimensions as well as annotations to our drawing that we have here. We've already dropped a base view as well as some projected views here. So now we got to go ahead and label some dimensions. We can find that here in annotate and we can simply dimension anything like so maybe from this corner to this corner and pull out a dimension just like we've been doing so far. We can adjust the tolerances, inspection dimension as well as add some additional text here. But for now, we're not going to do that. We'll just go ahead and hit OK, and we'll leave that one dimension there for now. Another way we can do this is once I hit Escape to deactivate this dimension tool, we can use this Retrieve here. If I select Retrieve, the first thing I need to, is, to do is to select the view. I can select this view here. Once I do, now I need to select either features to dimension or parts themselves. I'm going to go ahead and select the whole part. As you can see, it all highlights, and I have many dimensions are automatically placed for me. Next, I need to select the dimensions that I actually want to keep. Once I have everything highlighted, I can also select them one at a time if I wanted to. I can hit apply and all the dimensions are placed for me. I don't have to do the work of actually dimensioning it anymore because it's taking the dimensions from the 3D model that we already created. This can save a lot of time, but also notice that it may be a little sloppy. So you can always move these around with the green handles or you can grab the dimension itself. Maybe move it over here and adjust one a little bit more like so. Maybe put this one over here, over there. Any way that you like for your desired result, for your design specifically. Let's go ahead and pan this over a little bit more. Again, if there isn't a specific dimension specified, like maybe you need to know or have noted where these circles here are placed or the holes, we can go ahead and add additional dimensions. If for example there is a dimension that is placed on here that maybe you want to be displayed on this view or this view over here because it would better portray the actual part, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a bit. We could always select that dimension, right click, and then we can move the dimension itself. So if I find where it is, move dimension, I can go ahead and select the view to move it to. And the dimension has been moved from this view to the top view up here. I can go ahead and move that over just a bit. That may help you also clean up your view. Now, we may also want to see better what is happening inside these holes here. Or, for example, we know this is the hole coming out with the hole inside with the, of the cylinder, but we don't necessarily see that from this design here. So we may want to go to Place Views and add an additional section view. The first thing we need to do is to select the view that we want to add a section. Now we got to draw the section line. I can go ahead and hover over this and have some helping geometry lines so I can make sure I'm in the center. Select here, here, and once I'm done, I can right click and select continue. And now I can pull out that section view. I can change the style, the scale, as well as the identifier for this section. I can go ahead and just place it here. And there's my section view. Now this design is pretty simple, but maybe there was more going on in this section here. We can add an additional detail view. If I go ahead and select that, I select the view that I want to add a detail to. Notice again, I can change the view, the identifier for the view, as well as the scale and some additional style settings here. I can choose a circle or a square for a fence. Right now I'm going to leave it as a circle. You can go ahead and just select once, drag out a bit where you want to add additional detail, select again and now you have your detail pulled out. You can always change it by pulling this circle here or adjusting the circle there. Now let's go ahead and look at a few annotations that we can add. I'll go ahead and pan over just a bit. We can add in some text simply by clicking and placing a box. We have typical formats for a text that you would have in any text editor, such as the font, the type, the justification, the style, as well as spacing, bold, italic, underline. We can go ahead and type note for now. Hit OK, and there the note is placed. We can also add in a leader to our text. We can identify specific portions, maybe this hole here that we want to specify. Once we're done, we can pull out a landing, double click, and we can place an additional note and hit OK. And there's our additional note there. Now these are some simple ways of how to add annotations, dimensions, and various views to your design.